I'm a, I'm a let it simmer, bro. I'm going to let it simmer. Player model one. Either one. All right. Now, let me show y'all who that was, bro. Let me show y'all who that was. Let me show y'all who that was, man. Yeah. 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 Say, bro. Donovan, Donovan Mitchell has to be the most disrespected NBA player in the last, like, 10 years, bro. I think Donovan Mitchell, bro, because the way people talk about Dame and how Dame got all that respect, why don't people show that same love to Donovan Mitchell? Why people don't say that, show that same love to Donovan Mitchell? Spider, a better player. He got an argument. The only reason why he really don't got an argument because Tatum to be into all the conference finals with their better team, bro. That's the only reason, fam. You could make an argument, bro. You could make an argument that Donovan Mitchell is just as good as Jason Tatum. Not Tatum. Man, I saw 84 and said that might be. <laughs> yeah. What's the. What's the big what's the biggest difference between Tatum and Mitchell? Tatum a better uh rebounder and he's slightly well, he's a way better defender. He's a slightly better rebounder and he's a way better defender. But you can say Donovan Mitchell a better scorer. You can say Donovan, bro. Donovan team not better, but Diddy, my thing is Donovan take too many stupid shots. Do he? He's out there. I just watched this man out there with Max Roos, who's going five for 18. He out there with Jared Allen, Karis LeVert, goddamn Sam Merrill, Dean Wade. Bro, what is he supposed to do? He ain't never. I, I think he is, probably is a better playmaker. But Donovan Mitchell ain't never played with a team up to par as these Celtics teams that Jason Tatum get to play on, bro. They just keep it a buck, y'all. Let's stop doing this. Donovan Mitchell has never played on a team as good as Jason Tatum. And just keep it a buck. Just keep it a buck. Oh, oh, okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that, RC. First round series versus Knicks last year, he was chucking wild, and they was not – he didn't play the greatest. But Knicks, that was a good defensive team. But I didn't give him no passes, bro. He – it, Brunson didn't play that great either, but he outplayed Donovan Mitchell for the second year in a row. It was say, oh man, it wasn't enough spacing, man. It wasn't enough spacing. ESPN made this generation discredit the regular season. If you don't make the finals, you're trash. I agree. I agree. And that goes to Ray, because Ray is the, one of the biggest Donovan Mitchell critics that I know. And I feel like Donovan Mitchell, if we not say this is my biggest thing when it comes to Donovan Mitchell. Do y'all remember what he did his rookie year? He came in, he beat Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, Paul George, when Russell Westbrook and Paul George damn near was MVP candidates, bro. They upset them his rookie year with Bogdan Bondanovich, Joe Ingles, and Rudy Gobert. We forgetting that just because Donovan Mitchell lost two years in a row, in the first round with teams that we thought could have lost in the first round. I ain't give him no excuses. I ain't give him no excuses for what happened against the Knicks. They should have won. Well, I ain't going to say they should have won. They could have won, and he should have played better. But Darius Garland played like trash. Jared Allen came out and said the lights was too bright. Jared Allen came out and said the lights was too bright. Yeah, he's made the, 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 the playoffs every year. Yep. Every year of his career. I'm just saying, bro, we just need to put some more respect on Donovan Mitchell, dog. Look at these stats, bro. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell came in like he was literally the second coming of D-Wade. Donovan, oh, oh, how quick they forget. How quick they forget, bro. I got one more for y'all, bro. And y'all going to be so shocked when y'all see it. Bro, I got one more for y'all, bro. I might give y'all a hint this time. But... 
the two most disrespected players. First one is Donovan Mitchell, bro. Because if you compare him to somebody like Jason Tatum, I bet y'all would didn't even think Jason Tatum was that. Come on, bro. Look how similar this is, dog. From this year. For this year. I think Donovan Mitchell needs to go to a team where he can be a great second option. I agree. I think when we call people first options, second options, third options, it kind of discredited them role players and stuff like that. But as long as you get a guy in his ideal situation, it don't matter, bro. If Donovan Mitchell was a great number two, I still would think he's a Hall of Famer. If they win chips, he's still this, he's still that. I'm not going to diminish him just because he can't be a number one. Everybody can't be a number one, bro, especially not these little ad guards. I don't think Tatum a number one. I think Tatum can be the best player on a championship team, but I don't think he can be the number one option on the championship team. Me personally, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just don't think that, bro. Let's just keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck, bro. I don't think that. But I got one more for y'all. I got one more for y'all, man. I got one more for y'all. This is a, So the first disrespected player in the league, one of the most disrespected players in the league, is Donna Vin Mitchell. Who would you rather have next to MB, Donovan or Levine? Oh, is Mac is Maxi still included? You still including Maxi, or is just is Maxi still get to be on the team too? Because that changed a lot. Because that changed a lot. If Maxi still on the team, give me Levine because Levine a better. Off ball player to Donovan Mitchell, but if it's no Maxi, give me Donovan Mitchell because Donovan Mitchell is just he's a juggernaut scorer, bro. Here go another one. This was there. Here go another one. Okay, yeah, with Maxi, give me Levine. Without Maxi, give me Donovan. But here go another one, bro. One of the most disrespected players in the game. Who y'all think this is, man? Who y'all taking? Who y'all taking? What's the word on this one? What's the word on this one, y'all? What's the word on this one? Who y'all taking? <clears throat> Who y'all taking, man? Before I'm ready. 26 a game, six assists, four rebounds versus – and uh 40, 48, 44, 82. Next is 27, 5 and 4, 46, 41, 93. Who y'all taking, bro? Who y'all taking, bro? I just want y'all to soak in these stats before I do my reveal. I just want y'all to soak in the stats before I do the reveal. I just want y'all to soak in them. Soak it in. Soak it in, bro. Soak it in, man. Soak it in, dog. Because uh I, I, just, I need everybody to know how close this shit really be, bro. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay. Now it's time to reveal, bro. So you pick the second one. Okay. Even though, yeah, we going to see. RC, you pick the second one. You pick the second one. But we not finna act like it's not close, man. We not finna act like it's not close, dog. RC, you picked the second one, but we not finna act like it's not close, bro. Jalen Brunson is the most disrespected player in the NBA, bro. Jalen Brunson is the most disrespected player in the league, fam. He just is. Jalen Brunson is giving you a 26, 6, and 4 on 48, 44, 82. And just up until recently, they had some tough games. They were a top six seed. Now they're the seventh seed. But Jalen Brunson, bro, Jalen Brunson is the most disrespected player in the NBA. He got his team to a second round last year. And the year before that, without Luka, Without Luca, we forgetting he beat, he broke, bro. Y'all forgetting Jalen Brunson broke up the Jazz. Jalen Brunson is the reason why Donovan Mitchell and uh Bunk Donovich and goddamn Rudy Gobert is not with the Jazz no more, bro. 
Let's just keep it a buck, fam. Let's keep it a buck, man. Jalen Brunson, Luka was out for the first couple games against Utah in that first round a couple years ago. Jalen Brunson carried throughout most of the uh the, the the game. What was that? He he carried most of the time when uh when when KP was out, when Luka was out during that season, when they had it was him and Dean Witty. Say dog, put some respect on Jalen Brunson's name, fam. Like what did Becky Hammond come out and say? I'm gonna try to see if I can go find it. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it. Because Becky Hammond even came out and said some 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 craziness about Jalen Brunson. She said some craziness about Jalen Brunson. Let me see if I can find it. Do y'all know what uh Becky Hammond said about Jalen Brunson? Y'all know what Jay, what she said about him? Because I wish I could find it. Oh, uh, she! I know she just called him too small. I know she called him too small, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Jalen Brunson, I don't like his YMCA game, but he can hoop that. Oh, oh, but uh, yeah, man, Luca is clearly better than Curry as the top NBA guard. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, it's easy. Luca, Luca, damn near the best player in the NBA. We just can't say it just because of his, his situation. Luca's literally the best player in the league, bro, in my opinion, player for player, individual. Of what I can do. Luka the best player in the game, bro. In my opinion. Becky Hammond said he can't be the best player on the championship team. Man, Becky, Becky Hammond, say, dog. I, I ain't going to see it. I ain't going to see it. Becky Hammond made a fool of herself talking <laughs> talking that way. She never going to be an NBA coach. Talking about when your best player is too small or something like that. See, bro, just talking at her ass, bro. Yeah, man. Just talking out of ass, bro. But look at these stats. Look at these stats, y'all. Jalen Brunson and Stephen Curry, bro. And you got people like Becky Hammond coming out talking about Jalen Brunson too small after he just first year with the Knicks got him out the first round for the first time in a decade. He had one of the highest points scored on Christmas by Nick in I don't know how long. Every time we hear about Jalen Brunson, they comparing this nigga to goddamn Bernard King or somebody, man. Every time we hear about Jalen Brunson, fam, in the year before that, as a second option, he got to the Western Conference Finals, putting up amazing stats, dog. Why are we disrespecting Jalen Brunson, bro? I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, y'all can do what y'all want. Y'all grown. But we're not going to act like Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson a top five guard in the NBA. He a top five point guard in the NBA, bro. Luka, give me Luka. Give me De'Aaron Fox. Give me Steph. Give me Brunson. Give me Halliburton. And then John ja Morant, Trey Young, all them other niggas got to find a row. All them other niggas got to find a row, bro. Jalen Brunson, the top five point guard in the NBA. I know he kind of, kind of, he kind of been trash these last couple of games. Not trash, but he ain't been playing that good. But say it out. Jalen Brunson won them ones, man. Brunson, bro, Fox, I see Fox is number three. I think Fox is number two or three right now. Currently, I think I, I got Luca Fox, Curry, Luca Fox, Curry, Brunson, Halliburton, then Ja Morant, Trey, all the other point guards, they tied. They tied, bro. I got Fox in there. Fox top three point guard. Fox top three. Fox top three. What you did to Trey the other day, knock Trey out the top five. What he just did to Trey the other day with Ja, bro, what, what Fox just did to Trey yesterday. Nah, I ain't trying to hear that Trey shit no more. Trey, Trey won the biggest fall offs in the NBA history, man. And that's still good. Like he went from superstar to all-star. Yeah. But yeah, man, y'all gonna quit disrespecting Jalen Brunson, dog. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Jalen Brunson and Donovan Mitchell are the two most disrespected players. In the NBA currently, bro. They are, bro. Oh.
found some shit I love to do So I can look comfortable Searching for a peace of mind Need that when it's time to rhyme Perfect in every line Any chance I get And I know it takes time But I will never quit 